Welcome back. Oh, shit, my mic's not on. Have we been recording Welcome the back entire stout. time? Oh, well, that whole wait gay thing. Wait until yeah. you hear the intro to this one. <laughs> Welcome back, Stout wait, Dicks. What? Before we forget, what? Elky has to tell his uh, Garden of Eden story. All right, all right. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Garden of Eden story. Continuation from part one. Go ahead. Continuation from part one. In yeah, the oh, keys? do you have one? No. you have a good Garden of Eden story? It's not a good story. Oh. Every, so They're all good stories. So my birthday was in June. We went there in June. And uh, a buddy who will not... I mean, I can name it. No, I'll, I'll, we'll leave him anonymous for now. No. And... Uh, he, no. And... Uh, <laughs> I love how you he, staring he, he at would, You think he would do that? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think he's that kind of guy. No, His but our, buddy's uh, Jeff. Co-host of that podcast. Friend. So <laughs> oh, we, we tell our we tell our buddy, hey, there's this place where you get to take your clothing is optional. He's like, all right, fuck, we got to go to this place right now. So run up the Garden of Eden steps. <laughs> With or without hot secret, dogs. The secret Which staircase. No hot dogs. <laughs> no he hot didn't bring dogs. his own hot dogs. <laughs> no street dogs. It just his own street dog. <laughs> <laughs> just his own dog. We all brought our own dogs. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> And so he gets to the he gets to the top of the, the third story of the stairs, and there's this big ass bouncer at the top, and he looks at him. He's like, "Well, what what's the uh, what's the, what's the what's the deal with the clothes?" And he goes, "Clothing's optional, dude." And he's like, "Sweet!" And he drops his <laughs> pants right there with all of us. The stairs are inclined, so I like we're like all I know, behind. I feel like I know who this is. <laughs> and so he drops his pants. I mean, we're almost getting a goat like with like from being so behind. You, him. you saw taint. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't looking for it. But <laughs> <laughs> I it, it found me. I saw, right I saw it when there. he started undoing his belt. I'm like, all right, he's about to bend over and drop his trow. And I'm, 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 uh, I'm, I'm not a starfish. I'm, I'm, one, yeah. I'm, one step, I'm one step under I'm him. Showing, yeah, oh, I, need yeah. To, I need to get to the side or do something, right? <laughs> Thank you. And, um, yeah. And so, uh, so he grabs all of his clothes after he takes them off in the stairwell, like probably could be seen from the street, and goes to hand them to the bouncer. And the bouncer's like, I don't need that shit. You give that to the bar. <laughs> And so he fucking, so he's like, all right, goes, or all of a sudden, well, I mean, ta- talking about Garden of Eden and, and the and the clientele that are there and stuff, it's usually all local people. Uh, 90% ma- men. Yeah, 90% men that are older, so over, everything's, uh, over 60. You know, like, girl, you know, women sag when they get older, guys sag a lot. When good they for get, her. When they get older, yeah, good, good for her. her. Good for him. And, uh, and the guys, though, the locals get very protective about uh, that. Like, they'll come by you, and it's like a passive-aggressive, like, they'll go to order a drink, but they'll put your dick, their dick on your leg, you know, like... This is my turf, kind of thing. It was. It was. This did it was not weird. happen to me, but I did not spend enough time there. Yeah, you know, and then and then we had a bachelorette party go by, and everyone's like, "Hey, weeders!" You know, like it was. It was super funny. But uh, so, this uh, this person, this buddy, he starts talking with this girl, and then all of a sudden we see a bouncer go up to him, tap on the shoulder, and give him the like the thumbs. You like, you got to go out. You got to get out of here. So so this person uh, runs over, grabs his stuff in the bar, and he's like, "I got to get out of here. I just got kicked out." And we're like, "All right, well, what happened?" He goes. He goes, apparently you can't be at a 45-degree angle at the bar. And we're like, so you just got kicked out of the bar for having a boner? And he goes, she kept rubbing on my dick, man. <laughs> so that, right. that, that, that is, I definitely know. Who that, is, that is my, uh, that is my, my was guard of eating. 45 story. degrees above horizon or below horizon? Was it a chub or was it full? I, what, what would that be called in, on the boner scale? Well, well I mean, if you're if that's you're a mid chub. Up, yeah, that's a full chub. That's no. that's full chub. A forty-five degree down <laughs> would be like below, a whiskey. Below, below below horizon. Like, but it's I think not he, a wind I think sock. he went up. I think he went forty-five. So he was he was like up. saluting. Yeah. Yeah. So he was strolling. But he wasn't. Bolt. Yeah. He, no, right. he would No, he wasn't. He wasn't like throwing that shaft out there. <laughs> I think he was like just getting past the threshold of like all right, penetration is possible. <laughs> P.I.P. That might be the greatest story that ever graced this show of all time. No. <laughs> like We're trying to it. figure it out, Jeff. It was you. <laughs> <laughs> might have been me. <laughs> it was you. <laughs> Adolf Schilling coming in with his <laughs> big dick swinging. <laughs> Saluting, right? <laughs> Saluting. Strong like bull. That was a good story. That was a very good story. It was story. hilarious. <laughs> it was hilarious. You know, naked people everywhere, you shouldn't get kicked out for having a boner. Well, it I happens. Mean, it's natural. You know, but that's kind of a, that's you know that's some offensive to some people. Maybe you take him and you take him to the bar and you say, "Take two shots. It'll thin the blood out. The boner will go away. Whiskey yeah. dick you up." I don't know. He's like, I was about to say, <laughs> <laughs> he's really good at getting a boner, guys. No. <laughs> he's very talented in the boner game. Boner game strong. I don't know how to do it. Okay. I don't know him. No, no, no one knows him unless you know. We'll him. just say it's Jeff. 
It, it was Jeff. It wasn't Jeff, but we'll just say it's Jeff. So anyway, <laughs> God, I don't yeah, even know. He, he like, should have just stood over top of her, hit her on the shoulder with his deck. Oh, yeah. excuse me. Uh, is the seat taken? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. The bouncer might have been like, all right, cool. I got a handle to like, you know, throw this guy out. Or with. he could be like, hey, you have a hot dog bun? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Dick. Now, yeah. how do you kick out a guy for a boner but not kick out a guy for essentially eating a hot dog while naked? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. That's as sexual and way uh, grosser. And really weird. Yeah. Just super weird. Eat, the fact that they didn't there's even serve a, hot dogs there is kind of weird. Like, there's we're a conscious like, decision involved you know? in that. He's like, hey, I'll be right back. Like, here's my I'm ID. You know, and here's there's my a conscious, dog. yeah, there's a very <laughs> conscious decision involved with I'm going to the Garden of Eden and I'm bringing a hot dog with yeah. me. That's a conscious decision that was made. No, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Inappropriately. Yeah. yeah. Sans bun. Yeah. I'm offended by that. And you said he had a book. Like, could you imagine, like, cro- cross legs, like, drink, or, like dr- <laughs> drinking a beer, eating a hot dog, reading, like, Hemingway or something like that? <laughs> Pretty much that. You just painted the picture. That was yeah. him. You know? Yeah. Because yeah. you'd have to read Hemingway if you was. At the nude bar, eating a hot dog. <laughs> yeah. You got to read the Big Papa. Yeah. 